Relays and outreach to inner city teens. We're in a couple different cities in the country, and uh, basically what we do is we work with uh, inner city young people in areas where the, the, the church is really, really hurting. Um, we find that God is doing some pretty amazing things. All three of these people you've seen up here, Tristan, <coughs> Shani, Frito, um, they're all teens from, uh, from our ministry, from Dirty Vagabond. Um, the kids that grew up on the street had a, had a life. Maybe it's similar to some of y'all's, but probably different from a lot of the rest of y'all's. Um, Tristan, right here, who uh, last night I introduced him as uh, prodigal, the prodigal son. That was his, his rapper name. Um, there's a reason he's got that name, and, and I, I don't want to just finish. He's going to share a little on this song, because um, I think his, his story is a testament of, uh, of God's grace. The uh, reason his name calls himself the prodigal son is because uh, Tristan uh, grew up really without a family. You know, he, he, he was born uh, addicted to crack. His, his, his parents, a uh, lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of wounds in, in, his, in his life. And uh, he was in our ministry for a short time. He, he lived in Snoopville and then he ran away. And for the last year, uh, he's been living like homeless on the street, okay? Three weeks ago, he called me. Uh, he found my found my number on online somewhere. Borrowed someone's phone. He said he sat with his phone for five hours before he called. Um, he had been living on the streets. He got addicted real bad to crystal meth. And uh, he called and said, "You know, I, I felt somehow like God told me that you guys were the only people who really loved me in my life. You know, he only knew us for a couple months. That that day, you know, we sent him a bus ticket." And two days later, he ended up uh, home, you know, back, well, back where we live at least. It was not necessarily that home he grew up in. But uh, over the last three weeks, God has done amazing things in his life. Uh, and, and, I, and I have him up here, um, one, because we love him and he's part of our family. But two, because he is a testimony that God can bring people back from the dead. You know, Tristan took the family. And, uh, and God has been real powerful in his life. So we're going to share the song, and he's going to share just the time of his heart with you right now. I just wanted to say before we get the song started, that no matter how far you think you are from God or how deep in the shadows, that he can find you and he will reach you anywhere. And at this, at these very student no conferences, my first one was last week, and I gave my life to Jesus Christ, and I've never been happier in 18 years, so... Just as I was the cycle that continues from the venues to the windows where a sinful eye began to stare off into the distant sky and witness my redemption. The cross, the face of fear is not as heavy if we share. And if you grip it here, you could have a piece of my soul if you're willing to. Hold it close, but let it go and it'll finish you. Every time you hit something I wrote, you get a clue as to how to get out of that hole that you fit into. The same thing you fall So close to death. 
death in my mind was out of it. My life was purely drugs. Now I'm not having this. You turn it all around with the Lord from Nazareth. I was truly blind in the darkness of my sea. Then I seen the rays. Finally, I've been set free. Escape my own prison. Suffocate. Now I can breathe. I'm about to show them just how righteous I can be. <laughs>